Hey guys, Lord here, back with another Sunbreak set video. Today, I want to revisit my old Para Dual Blades video set with a new and improved set utilizing the new skills from Title Update 1. This set relies heavily on evading through attacks to proc Adrenaline Rush and Status Trigger, giving us massive damage and status application boosts. The set I've prepared for you guys is super basic. Since Curious Augments are so RNG dependent, I've decided not to include them in this video. The best thing that I can recommend for your Curious Augments is to try and get good slots. But if you do roll a good skill, then definitely keep it because those come once in a blue moon. If you guys enjoy the set, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new for more Monster Hunter content just like this. Let's go ahead and get into the set. Starting with the armor, we're rocking with two pieces of Gold Raytheon to get that new skill status trigger as well as some foray, two pieces from Lucent Narga to get Adrenaline Rush and the extra evade window, and of course the Espinas chest to help top us off with three levels of foray. As far as decorations, you'll need three critical, three tenderizer, one razor plus, one regular razor, and one brace. Again, since this is a super bare bones set, you will likely get more slots once you do some curious augmenting and you add a charm. So some things that you could add are more crit, para attack level 3 as your first priority, and then of course marathon runner if you still have room to lower your stamina depletion speed for the dual blades. If you get enough crit, you can drop razor sharp entirely and go for master's touch instead since that requires the same number of slots and will give you slightly more efficiency at keeping your sharpness. The weapon of choice are the jelly dual blades, but you of course could go for cat's paw if that's something you prefer. I just like the jelly better, and I think since it has more para, you're more likely to proc paralysis during a hunt anyway. So to start off, before you add your own charm or your own curious augments, we have evade window level 5, crit boost and weakness exploit at level 3, razor sharp or master's touch, again up to your preference, also at level 3, then adrenaline rush, foray, and status trigger, also at level 3. Then you'll have Handicraft 2, Heartbreaker 2, Chain Crit 2, and finally Flinch Free and Sneak Attack level 1. Again, the major draw here is evading attacks to boost our damage and status. Status Trigger makes it so, for 12 seconds after perfectly evading an attack, every single hit of your weapon will apply status instead of every third hit. With the rapid attacks of Dual Blades, especially with the Spinning Silk Bind, you will build up so much paralysis so quickly after activating this skill. Now of course if you manage to proc status trigger you will also then proc adrenaline rush which will give you a massive plus 30 raw attack for 30 seconds. Both of these skills are made far easier to activate with the use of evade window 5 in the set. This gives you a large number of iframes to dodge attacks and roars which should give you some really nice uptime for both skills. With 4a active we have 70% crit on tenderized weak spots so being able to add just a bit more crit with your charm and augments will be super helpful. Adding Paralysis Attack up will also be very helpful, but with some good Curious Augments for slots, you should be able to get that yourself. I mean, you might even get just a Curious Augment for Para Attack up without having to use a decoration at all. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed this set. Before you go, I want to know your thoughts down below on this set building format in my video. I didn't include any Curious Augments or Charms, but I want to know if that's something you'd like to see in the future, so maybe a budget set that doesn't have any Curious Augments and Charms, which is then followed up by a set that has the Augments and Charms. Just let me know your thoughts down below. I really want to get a feel for what you guys want to see so I can make videos that best portray the new set building techniques. For today's purposes, I wanted to avoid Curious Augments just because I feel like the RNG is too much and I'd like to get your thoughts first. Don't forget to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel for more Monster Hunter content just like this, it's totally free and you can always change your mind later if you decide that the content just isn't for you. With all that said guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, and happy hunting!